Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be seeing about cyber security news sources. Yes, in my previous video, I got a comment asking, Vinod, how do you keep yourself updated with regard to cyber security and what is happening in today's world regarding cyber security, right? Obviously, I do read news and all that, but how do I keep myself updated about cyber security specific news? Because that's my area of interest, right? So how do we keep ourselves updated about cyber security related news? So in this video, I'm going to cover uh, a few aspects on the popular uh, cyber security news portals, blogs, etc. And I'll also tell you these are all portals where they offer a newsletter that is available for free, meaning you can subscribe for their newsletters and keep yourself updated with regard to the latest cyber security incidents that happen across the globe. Let me uh, start with two independent blogs by one Curbs on Security to Snyder on Security. Curbs on Security uh, is a blog or a portal uh, founded by Brian Curbs. He is a pioneer in cybersecurity journalism. Okay, His blog has been instrumental in covering major cybercrime incidents including of the popular Target data breach. Target is a very huge uh, chain of stores there in the US and imagine there was a data breach and he was single-handedly responsible on investigating the whole data breach and identifying the source from where the attack originated and where it really happened. His investigative work also led to real world consequences of cyber criminals. Okay, talking about curbs on security, yes, this is about curbs on security. Now let's quickly talk about uh, Snyder on security. Snyder, who is Snyder? Snyder is a very popular computer scientist and he is popularly known for the uh, cyber security quotes and quotations that he usually talks, right? Let me give you a briefer about Snyder and the Snyder on security per se, right? Bruce Snyder is a renowned cyber security expert and a cryptographer. His blogs offer not just news, but also deep insights and philosophical reflection on cyber security, privacy, and the implication of technology on society. He has also authored a number of several influential books on cyber security. I would strongly suggest, please do go subscribe to his blog. Next, let's talk about dark reading. Dark reading is known as its in-depth technical articles and expert analysis. They are popularly known for their annual event that they host every year. Their annual event called the dark reading virtual event, which gathers security professionals to discuss latest trends and threats in the industry. Now let's talk about threat post. Threat post provides timely and comprehensive news coverage. They offer a daily newsletter summarizing top security news, making it quick and efficient way to keep all of us updated about the important developments in cyber security space. The Hacker News. The Hacker News being uh, one of my most favorite news sources across the internet. Having said that, I personally know the founder of The Hacker News and he is also from my own country, India. And uh, we have also had chance to meet couple of times regarding cyber security and also we had a chance to bump at each other in uh, events like Nullcon, etc. Let me give you a briefer about the Hacker News. The Hacker News site is often among the first to report on breaking news in the cyber security world. They cover a wide range of topics starting from incidents to new software vulnerabilities, providing a broad spectrum of coverage in this domain of cyber security. Let's talk about bleeping computer. Bleeping Computer is known for its detailed guides and tutorials. Bleeping Computer is a valuable resource for IT professionals and hobbyists. It also has a strong community forum where users can seek and help share solutions for technical problems. Uh, in my previous uh, experience of working in an organization, uh, there was a team who were maintaining the Active Directory and Domain Controller. And Bleeping Computer was the first source they would often go and check for any problem that they encounter regarding Active Directory and Domain Control at that point in time. I'm talking close to around eight, nine years ago. Then SC Media. SC Media combines news, analysis, and original research with a focus on cybersecurity. 
their annual sc awards are highly regarded uh, in the industry recognizing outstanding services and products in the domain on cyber security cso online CSO online is tailored specifically for chief security officers and senior security executives and it also covers a lot of content that contains areas of interest for DPOs and CISO CISOs DPOs as in data privacy officers and chief information security officer they also share in-depth analysis and practical how to guides helping leaders make informed decision with respect to how they can arrive to dashboards what are the numeric values that one should look what are the sentimental scores that they have to look at with respect to cyber security and so on help net security help net security is known for the comprehensive coverage and daily news updates help net security also provides detailed product reviews and industry reports making it a reliable source for staying informed about the latest developments with regard to cyber security its products and services Wired, Wired News. Wired News is a part of Wired Magazine. The Wired Security section combines cyber security news with broad technology trends. This unique perspective helps readers understand how cyber security issues intersect with large tech industries. I hope you all got a brief idea on the kind of sources that I look forward for security and I also have made it a point to read each and every email newsletter that i get from these sources keep a watch out of these newsletters and stay updated and stay ahead of the curve with regard to cyber security in case you did like this consider sharing and subscribing thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cyber security